Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Burns. I'm a geophysicist and today I'm going to show you the data of the Schumann resonance that's hosted by the HeartMath Institute on their website. This is heartmath.org. How you can read this data, interpret it, and also some of the other useful resources and freebies that they have. HeartMath Institute is a really great website. They're interested in how the Schumann resonance affects global consciousness, it affects your brain, your body, your heart, the magnetic field, the bioelectric magnetic field that we all possess. And they have a really good link here. This is heartmath.org and then it's a, their magnetometer link. And you can look at the Schumann resonance power readings average over a 24 hour time scale for different sites that they have around the globe. So this is all of them at once. You can click none at the bottom there to not see any of them. Right now we're on the all time scale, which goes from late July of 2020 to the present day. And if we click on Global Consciousness, Consciousness Initiative 001 or GCI 001, we'll see the California uh, data. Now this is all the power from 0 0.32 to 36 Hertz, completely summed and then plotted on a 24 hour average. So you can see that the uh, the Schumann resonance power is higher during the summer months in California than it is during the winter here, right? This is lower, getting values like 50, and then up here getting values like 150. So you can see how that changes. You can actually turn on also Saudi Arabia, Lithuania, and Alberta, Canada, and since they're all in the Northern Hemisphere, they all roughly follow that trend, though there have been some dropouts, et cetera. If we toggle back to none and look at the New Zealand station in the Southern Hemisphere, we can see it's fairly flat. Um, and if we toggle on Africa, we can see the power is much higher in Africa. One of the predominant lightning chimneys globally is in Africa. So it makes sense that the Schumann resonance is much stronger there. At this data point, it is, uh, it's nearly 10 times stronger, probably more like seven or eight times stronger than in New Zealand. Uh, but you can see that there's no real variation from winter to summer. And that's because the lightning in Africa is fairly consistent year round. So this is a really cool site. If you, for example, see something here, let's say Thursday, April 22nd, 2021, you could zoom in on that by adjusting the zoom here and scrolling and finding it, right? So it's around, there's that big spike in uh, Africa there. And that's just really, really incredible that happened on April 22nd. And what you could do is you could actually go to the spectrogram uh, part of their website, link in the video description, and look at the different spectrograms for the stations. This is a 24 hour spectrogram of the Schumann resonance. You can see the different modes here. It's the foundational, second mode, third, fourth, fifth, and even a faint outline of six and seven, very faint. Uh, for all the different stations, again, GCI 1 is California, GCI 2 is Saudi Arabia, GCI 3 is Lithuania, then you have Canada, New Zealand, and South Africa. So this spectrogram calendar is really useful. We can actually investigate that uh, April disturbance in South Africa. So we'll type in April 22nd, 2021, and here are the spectrograms for all the stations around that time. April 22nd here, click that. And this is our spectrogram from that high amplitude day that we noticed in the all power graph for South Africa. And you can see it's just completely, completely gained out. Very high amplitude. This bar here, this strip is probably their nighttime because this is lower amplitude. Yellow is the highest. So maybe this is their nighttime. It's hard to say uh, without being there. But I did look at the weather for that day and it was thunderstorms. So there was some thunderstorm activity I don't know what else might have contributed to Schumann resonance at that location in such a strong way. There are other potential uh, contributors out there. So, but just looking at it very briefly, that's what we got. And this spectrogram calendar is just a very useful tool that you can use. Uh, you can look at the spectrograms daily if you want. You can look at them weekly uh, as part of your Schumann resonance research or just to just as a fun thing to do to learn about electromagnetic waves. So I highly recommend you look at the HeartMath Institute and their links for their magnetometer readings and also their spectrogram because it's one of the best resources out there for Schumann resonance enthusiasts.
Some more information is on their site, uh, links to all these also. This is their uh, magnetometer that they use, a prototype of it. And you can see it's uh, quite a large contraption here. They've installed it. You can see the three different components that they have. Uh, so three different magnetometers, one measuring north-south, one measuring east-west, one measuring vertical. This is in California. You can also see their Saudi Arabia system and their Lithuania system, their system in Alberta, Canada, and what they have in New Zealand, as well as South Africa. This is another interesting link in the video description. Here is the map of where these are, and you can see how they have good coverage of North America and of uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa overall. And if you know how to read the Russian website, SOS for Schumann Residence, which is located at Tomsk, which is pretty center for the Eurasian plate, then you actually have a really good um, set of resources to use to monitor the Schumann Residence worldwide. Here's New Zealand. We, they are missing Asia and Southeast Asia. They're missing South America. They're hoping to bring those places online. So if you live in one of those areas and you want to in, help install one of these stations, please reach out to the HeartMath Institute. Again, that's heartmath.org. If you're interested in any of the information um, or studies and research that they've done for the heart, for the brain, for global consciousness, their global consciousness initiative, you can go to their research library. There's 281 publications in there. Highly recommend you check it out. And if you want some freebies, then again, links in the video description for this. You can go and become a HeartMath emissary, uh, join the global consciousness community, and get their energetic heart PDF, which is a sizable download, tons of good research in there. Highly recommend you read it. Uh, educates at you as to how the uh, the heart and the magnetic field of the heart connects to the brain, connects to your emotions, how calm you are, it helps you connect to others empathically. And I highly recommend you read this PDF so you can get it for free just by signing up, becoming one of their community members. And you can also get their Science of the Heart PDF uh, by going to the Science of the Heart URL video description below. And it's a 11 chapter ebook with a bibliography at the end all about the heart and it explores the role of the heart in human performance. So I highly recommend that you check out the HeartMath Institute website, look at their different Schumann resonance data that they host. It's really interesting to look at these trends for individual stations or for all of them at once. And also they have a really good network of spectrograms that they host as long as the stations are online. So really, really great data. I highly recommend you check it out. If you're still learning about the Schumann Residence, I recommend you watch my Schumann Residence What Is It video. Uh, that's uh, right there, click that card. You can also, if you're interested, this, this uh, graph right here does not show diurnal changes in the Schumann Residence. It's smooth on a 24 hour time scale. Uh, if you're interested in learning about the Schumann Residence, uh, and how it changes diurnally, you can watch my video on that. And you can, again, get these freebies at the links in the video description. I highly recommend you do so. If you like the video, politely click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Share this video with friends who are interested in the Schumann resonance or electromagnetic phenomenon. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, uh, in the comments below. Happy to answer those and help educate you further. Um, so... Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Namaste. This is Geophysics Explained.